It's going great, Don. And I'm going to move it over to the simmer plate. Oh, there we go. So here it can simmer away happily. As this works away on the uh, simmer plate, I'm trying to boil water on the hot plate. Here's my pasta. This is gluten-free corn-based pasta. And I'm gonna add, these are friends of mine. Oh, don't know what they're on about. These are friends of mine, Joan and Bob. I've known them for 20 plus years. And they make delicious sauces. As you can see, I've been eating this one already. And so I'm gonna empty this jar into that. Now I need two hands to do that because I've got to do it with a teaspoon. Uh, and uh, it's a beautiful basil pesto. So I'm going to add that into my sauce. Uh, so this is all kind of locally produced, which makes it even more delicious. As the sauce simmers away, and as I'm still waiting for the water to boil, it's nearly there, not quite. I've been grating some cheese. This is a delicious Irish cheese with uh, cumin seeds in it, and it's um, gone a bit hard. So I grate it down and use that instead of Parmesan. This is again an Irish cheese. So the, all the ingredients here is Irish, except for the pasta, because that's maize, corn, and um, uh, produced elsewhere other than Ireland. But the dairy in this is Irish. The cumin seeds are probably imported. And then everything in there is homegrown or from local friends who make delicious pesto sauce, which you can buy in supermarkets or order online. So basically, uh, that's the makings of a homegrown meal with the menagerie at my feet all the time as I'm cooking. Look at this. They're all directly under where I'm cooking. <laughs> so the pasta's in. This has been simmering away. Pasta's in and ready. So the next stage is going to be putting that through a sieve. It's very hard working around these guys. Uh, and then I'll plate up. So I'll show you that. Um, may as well just take that off. Yeah, I'll have to get a sieve, a colander. Colander, colander, colander. And pour that through. So I'm ready to plate up. And what's great about an aga is the tops are like a hot plate as well. So still working my way around the menagerie. So I'm going to the plate has been sitting up on the aga for a little while, so it's lovely and warm. It's not cold. Um, there we go. Now, there we go. Oh, this is going to be so good. And it smells absolutely heavenly I kid you not then some of that fresh cheese oh yum 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 sorry you're not here to smell it let alone eat it it's absolutely scrum dilly yumptious <laughs> <laughs>